what can I say about my next guest? Except he's had more hit records than anyone in the history of popular music, Sir Cliff Richard. <laughs> See again, it's been, it's been a couple, well, it was a year before last, you're right. Was it I, as long ago yeah, as that? Yeah, it was, about 20 months, 18, 20 months. <laughs> yeah, um, this has been a busy week for you. Yeah, well, I had to do the, um, the three shows in the park. Three of them? Yeah. Isn't that a bit of a strange three? Why not? Well, it is really, but I mean, you, I try not to sing more than, say, three shows on the trot, and on the whole, promoters are fairly kind, and you yeah. get a day off every now and then, but um, it's, it's somehow different. It's not so much doing three shows in in a, in a theatre, but if you're singing open air, yeah. you've got all the air and the pollen in the and middle of the park. And flies and bugs and yeah. things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just had a fly go in my drink oh, no, just no. before we came on air. Where is it? Now, oh. you wouldn't want it. It's gone now. No, it has gone. Uh, we throttled him and made what? him spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> Squeezed it back. Uh, 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 you know, you... How many people were there, by the way? There's a lot of people out in the park. Well, I suppose over the three days we'd have played... Oh, they were there. <laughs> Well, there was them. Uh, yeah, I suppose over the three days we'd have played to um, about 40,000 people. That's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm looking at you, Cliff. Okay, yeah? well, what are you taking? <laughs> I mean, are you on monkey um, glands or something? No, I... How young are you? Obviously... <laughs> well, I, you know, you know, you know what it's like when you hit 35, people start talking about age. I definitely know that. I know. <laughs> Listen, these, these magazine polls you keep getting, it's unbelievable. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, you were voted the seventh greatest artist of all time, beating Michael Jackson, the Stones, Abba. Well, of course. Yeah. I mean, and, you, and then in February this year, you came second to Sean Connery as the man women would like to see across their breakfast table. Yeah. Not laying across it, no, sitting across it. <laughs> Do you take those polls seriously? Do they have any effect on No, them? you can't really. I mean, obviously, if, it, if they come out and it's in your favour, it's quite nice because somebody's going to read it. Um, but, you know, you can't take it seriously, really. I mean, what does it really mean? The poll I take seriously, and it's not been in the press at all, and I don't understand why. I have done the impossible. The Guinness Book of British Hit Singles had a statistic that I have chased, as you well know, some of you, for years. I have been making jokes about the fact that Elvis sold more records after he died and I wasn't that ambitious. Well, he was always the number one chart artist in Britain, but not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not like you to do a little bit of Trump as well. Well. well, the thing is, of course, it's a fact. I, it's, not as like, it's not an opinion anymore. No. Uh, I've had to work really hard, I've had to keep recording, and it's been really tough to catch up. And I finally passed Elvis. And uh, so he's number two. I am now officially the most successful chart artist in Britain ever. Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, I don't want to make you nervous, but I am going into the studios in November. And uh, <laughs> I, I, look behind you. <laughs> the funny thing is, you see, I think it's just because I've doggedly kept on doing it. Now, now that the dust has settled, how did you feel about that, uh, Chris Evans banging, <laughs> banning, Chris Evans banning? No, banging is the word. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he was smashing them up, wasn't he? Yeah, well, he said he did, but I don't believe he ever had any of my records. He said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smash all Cliff's records that I've got. And I thought, he can't have any of my records. He's not the type. But um, There's a library, you know. Well, there's probably a library. But, no, I mean, it was great fun. I, I couldn't take it seriously, and I don't think he does, to be honest with you. I mean, he's quite a shrewd guy. He's like very shrewd. You think it through. Anthea Turner, he had a real go at Anthea. Yeah. He's no fool, little Chris. No, no, no. And then the next thing, he's offering a job on the stage. I think he's after you to be a DJ on the radio. Oh, yeah, well, well, he's already asked if we want to do a duet on record. I've said, no, thanks. <laughs> he's a clever guy. He's oh, clever. Yeah. He's no, clever. he knows what he's doing. And I, and I fell into it. I thought, OK, this is great. It's great fun. I had a new single coming out, and I thought, 
this is fabulous publicity and I have to say it's one of the best fortnights I can remember in many many years we've become almost too serious about what we do rock and roll was meant to be a, a fun fabulous art form and for that two-week period with the Chris and the cliff business and the press coming around and saying save our cliff you know I felt like a beach whale but, <laughs> but nevertheless it was fun and so I was very grateful to that, and I don't think he took it seriously, as I didn't take it seriously. And we certainly didn't have any fisticuffs. You did put out a record, though. You, you, you made a shrewd move, didn't you? You put out a record under a different name, didn't you? Well, I did because, uh, you know, it's very hard for people like me to get um, airplay. And the reason why they don't play people like me is they, I think it's ageism. Because we're over, a, you know, 35, um, <laughs> they, they, th they think that our music may not appeal to the audience they have. But in point of fact, rock and roll is bigger than all of us. And I would rather they say to me, we don't like your music. Because then I would go back in the studio and reevaluate and record in another way. Because there's all sorts of ways of doing it. But they don't say that. It's not that my music's bad, it's just that I'm too old. And so I thought, well, if I don't tell them who it is, I'll release this record, which was very bluesy, solely, lots of falsetto. And I released it on a white label, and it simply had the name of my new label, which is Black Knight. And underneath it was the title, Can't Keep This Feeling In. I got played by black soul stations. Two of them, I found myself in two black soul charts. And uh, one DJ was heard to say that they'd never heard of the band, but he thought the singer was wicked. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning great. <laughs> yeah, Meaning great. So and it was only when I, uh, when I owned up and said, no, it's me, that they stopped playing it. <laughs> well, I don't it's understand a strange that. thing, isn't I it? I mean, you either like a record and you play it. You can't stop playing it because you find out who did it. I mean, that seems nonsense yeah. to me. But anyway, I, I think I won the argument, but I've come to the conclusion I can't win the battle. So, uh, but you're not I just, giving up. Oh, no. I mean, I've got a new record coming out, and uh, I'll do my best to... You're going to do that before you do yeah. that record for us. And last time you were here, you, hadn't, you said to me, look at me in the eyes, you said, I've not ruled out completely the idea of marriage, you said. And now, I, I, this may be rumours buzzing around, someone said that if you, if you had to have a partner, not had to, but if there was a partner, you might say, Andrea Kaur, her name came up. Now, Cliff, tell, tell Desmond, can we, can we discuss Well, it? I've never met her. Oh. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, Typical, isn't it? <laughs> but judging by the way she looks and sings, you know, we could get, <laughs> we could be quite good. <laughs> And we better leave it there. I, <laughs> <laughs> do I tell you, I did a show with Elaine Page. She sang with me at the park last week, and uh, she's fantastic. And we did the, uh, a chat show, and people phoned in. And they sort of said to, to Elaine and myself as well, uh, neither of you are married. Don't you think you'd make a nice couple? And of course, we don't. You just met. <laughs> so, in fact, what we did was we did secretly get married, and the Hyde Park was merely the reception. <laughs> 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 Right now, you've, uh, you've been in those studios again, and yep. I don't know if it's an album or is this just a single? Just no, it was an album called Real As I Want To Be, yep. and this is a single from it. Uh, it's called The Miracle? It's called The Miracle. And you're going to get on your marks and sing it. Cliff Richard, going to sing for us. Thanks, Cliff. Cliff Richard. Thank you. Thank you. again next week with his special guests Harry Hill, Sue Nichols from Coronation Street and Jim Davidson.